I am the pastor of the Salt Lake City Community of Christ. And let me tell you, it is a ride and a half. I love my congregation, and I can assure you that it is unlike any other congregation in the entire church. First of all, there are only about four or five Lifetime Community of Christ members that attend the congregation. Everyone else has found us and has wanted to be a part of us. Also, we have visitors every single week wondering who we are and just checking us out. It always keeps us on our toes. Now these visitors are all different, of course, but many of them ask the same questions. What do you believe about God? What is this concept about worth of all persons? Do you believe that Joseph Smith Jr. was a prophet? And so on and so forth. And almost Overwhelmingly, these visitors tell me the same thing every single week. And it's something that I want to say to you too, because you are part of this journey as well. Almost without fail, the visitors will say something like, you are everything that I want in a church. You are accepting, you are Christ-centered, you have humility. You believe that everyone has worth. Why have I never heard about you before? Friends, I get to hear this every single week. And I want you to hear it too. Community of Christ is one of the best kept secrets in the world. And let me tell you, we've never been asked to keep it a secret. We have a theology that has been time-tested, has been approved by scholarship, and is deep and abiding. We have a people who are welcoming, who are kind, caring, and deeply passionate about letting others know of their worth. We have a camping program that is above and beyond what many organizations have. Our people and our youth walk away knowing that they are loved more than they can imagine and that they have made, perhaps, the deepest friendships they will ever make. And that it's okay to be silly and have fun with everyone around you. Our sermons are scripturally based, and our lectionary is based in Christ. We encourage our people to live a life like Christ, which is why we walk through the dark season of Lent, learn about Christ's life during ordinary time, and move into Advent and the celebration of Christmas together. We walk the path that Christ walked and learn how to be like him, welcoming the marginalized, embracing the lonely, and washing the hands and feet of those who may betray us. This is the path that community of Christ walks. And I could not be more grateful to those who have gone before and to those who walk that path with us now. Now, why am I telling you this? You already know this. You live this message. Well, here's the deal. There are people around us every day that are yearning to hear a message exactly like the one we have, that they have worth, that they are loved, and that they are cared for. And as members and friends of Community of Christ, it is our responsibility to make sure that they know that. And how do I know that? I know that because the people who walk through our doors every Sunday morning are yearning, desperately yearning for that message. The world is a tough place. The world wants us to think that we are small, that we are meaningless, that what we do and who we are doesn't really matter, that no one cares for us the way we want to be cared for. The world tells us that we aren't good enough and that no matter what we do, there will always be someone who does it better. The world is a tough place, but church shouldn't be. 
Church should be a place where acceptance and love are number one. You know, when I was working for the church in Northern California, I helped out with a lot of youth camps. We would always give the same speech to the youth before church camp started, and it went something like this. This is not high school. This is church camp. In high school, you're not always reminded of your worth and everything wonderful about you. Here, we want to remind you of those things every single day, every single hour, every single minute. But we as the adults in the camp can't do this by ourselves. We need everyone to show that everyone is of worth, that everyone's loved, and everyone is a child of God. You have to be a part of that too. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. And guess what? The kids would step up and help to make the camp the best camp it could possibly be. They took on the challenge and made it happen. And I'm telling you that the kids walked away from camp completely different people than when they walked in. When they left, they were assured that they were loved, that they had worth and that they were cared for. We changed the world every single camp. And that is exactly what Community of Christ does and exactly what Community of Christ can do. And dare I say it, that is what Community of Christ is called to do. I know that the words and what we say in our buildings change lives. I want to tell you about someone in the Salt Lake congregation. She is a dear friend to me and a dear friend to everyone she meets. Her name is Crystal. Crystal has been a member of Community of Christ since November 2014. Before that, she was a member of different denominations, and it was during a Pride Interfaith service that she met Robin Linkhart and heard more about Community of Christ for the first time. And she decided to attend in July 2014. Although she had found acceptance before for being a transgender woman, what she found in Community of Christ was acceptance and stability. She found a place where she was not only accepted for exactly who she is, she was celebrated for exactly who she is. Crystal has participated in multiple worship services, offering prayers, offering the disciples generous response, and offering testimony. She has been blessed, she says, by administrations and blessings offered by women. And these blessings have helped her find a job, a place to live, and a reliable car. She has attended Community of Christ events in Idaho, Washington, Montana, and Missouri. Her life has been expanded since becoming a member of Community of Christ. And the congregation in Salt Lake City has been expanded because of her. Crystal reminds us of our transgender brothers and sisters who need support, who need care, who need a place that they feel welcome and can call home, and who need the reminder that they are people of worth and children of God. Crystal's story and the stories of so many others who walk through the door of the Salt Lake City Community of Christ remind me of Doctrine and Covenants, section 161.3. Open your hearts and feel the yearnings of your brothers and sisters who are lonely, despised, fearful, neglected, unloved. Reach out in understanding, clasp their hands, and invite all to share in the blessings of community created in the name of the one who suffered on behalf of all. Do not be fearful of one another. Respect each life journey, even in its brokenness and uncertainty, for each person has walked alone at times. Be ready to listen and slow to criticize, lest judgments be unrighteous and unredemptive. Be patient with one another, for creating sacred community is arduous and even painful. 
but it is to loving community such as this that each is called. Be courageous and visionary, believing in the power of just a few vibrant witnesses to transform the world. Be assured that love will overcome the voices of fear, division, and deceit. And as I said before, Community of Christ is all kinds of awesome, and we've worked hard to get to where we are. And that working hard has included some painful moments and some unpleasant moments and some moments where we've had to apologize to each other because we just didn't get things right. But still, we try. We continue to want to be in relationship with each other because that is what sacred community means even in the difficult times, even in the awkward times, and even in the arduous times. Because being in sacred community together means that we help one another through the times that are challenging and complicated. We work together to remind each other of God's call to be welcoming, to openness, and to show love to those who seem a bit unlovable. So I want to tell you again what an incredible group of people you are. A group of people who discern and trust that they are moving in the direction of God's call. A group of people who are trying their best to be the hands and feet of Jesus in the world. And a group of people who have opened their hearts to feel the yearnings of brothers and sisters who are lonely, despised, fearful, neglected, unloved. This is who we are. This is community of Christ. This is not the world. This is church. In the world, you're not always reminded of your worth and everything wonderful about you. Here, we want to remind you of those things every single day, every single hour, every single minute. But we can't do it ourselves. We need everyone to show that everyone is of worth, everyone is loved, and everyone is a child of God. You have to be a part of that too. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. Thank you, friends, for the incredible work that you do. And I pray that we can continue to do this essential and life-giving work together.